news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Cleveland Defendant, the head of Hamas, has been killed. CBS Israeli in Asensio reports your television. Israel Defense Forces killed Hamas's top leader, Yahya Sinwar, and two others in a raid in southern Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said evil suffered a heavy blow, but the war is not over. Last month, the Justice Department charged Sinwar and other Hamas figures, saying they financed, directed, and oversaw a campaign to murder U.S. citizens. Sinwar was the mastermind of the October 7th attack. Israel has been hunting him for more than a year. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller says the death of Sinwar may create some openings in the war between Israel and Hamas. The United States will redouble our efforts to return the hostages home, to bring an end to this war, to alleviate the suffering of the Palestinian people. Miller says Sinwar was a chief obstacle toward getting to a ceasefire. President Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu upon hearing the news of Sinwar's death. Vice President Harris is campaigning in Milwaukee. The leader of Hamas is dead, and justice has been served. And the United States, Israel, and the entire world are better off. In the battleground state of North Carolina, early in-person voting has begun. Voters like this man in Asheville were undeterred by the devastation left by Hurricane Hurricane. It's a civic duty to vote. We've got to take it, start taking it more seriously oh, okay. than we have in the past. All but a handful of 80 early voting sites in 25 western counties are open following Hurricane Helene. 56-year-old Robert Robertson is scheduled to be executed today in Texas for the death of his two-year-old daughter in 2002. But Loyola Law School professor Lori Levinson says this case is quite controversial. Robertson's case is extraordinary because in fact he was convicted based upon something called chicken baby syndrome, which is now very controversial because the evidence today shows that what was presented at that trial may not have been valid evidence. A bipartisan group of Texas state representatives has issued a subpoena to compel Robertson to testify before their committee in an effort to delay his execution. Well, even the lead detective in the case now says he believes Robertson is innocent. A new report finds a sharp drop in two smoking. The share of middle and high school students who say they are currently using tobacco products is falling from 10% last year to just 8.1% of students this year. This now marks the lowest that rates of adolescents using tobacco products has been since the CDC and FDA first launched their annual survey back in 1999. That's CBS's Alexander Tate. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 72 degrees in Rodeo, California.